Hello class, uh, today we are going to learn about different types of shapes. We are going to learn about a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a diamond, a rhombus, a pentagon, and a hexagon. Our first shape is going to be a triangle. As you see here, there are three sides to a triangle, and I've drawn two of many triangles that um, can that is out there <laughs> and if you want if you want to um, draw out on a piece of paper you want to write triangle t-i-a-n-g-l-e and you can draw both of the types of triangles I have here so you'll get some practice drawing different types of triangles and if you even want to you can pause the video and even trace the triangles with your finger a couple of times, but be careful on your screen. <laughs> and then hopefully that will help you to be able to draw a triangle on your piece of paper. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video for a second to draw your triangle. Next, we have a square. As you can see here, this is what a square looks like. Uh, it kind of looks like a box, and the triangle has four sides to it. So uh, underneath your triangle, or on a, on a different piece of paper, you can write square. And if you need to, you can trace the triangle with your finger on the screen and help you um, figure out how to draw the shape. Again, if you need to pause the video to make to be able to make your try or your square, go ahead and draw your square on your piece of paper. Next, we have a rectangle. As you can see, a rectangle is similar to a square. So underneath your square that you drew you can or even on a new piece of paper again you can write down rectangle which is R E C T A N G L E and you can see that the rectangle has four sides like the square that you drew before but the difference is that two of the sides are longer than the other two sides. And with a square before, the sides were all the same. And you can see that the rectangle is kind of like a box, but it's a longer box. So under where you wrote rectangle, draw um, the rectangle that you see on this, the video. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead and trace it with your finger that is up on, on the screen. So it will help you be able to draw it on your paper. Next, we have the diamond. Which it looks like this. So then, You'll write diamond on a new piece of paper or under your rectangle shape. And you'll see that it's spelled D-I-A-M-O-N-D. And the diamond also has four sides. And it kind of looks like a kite. So you can pause the video. To trace the shape with your finger, then draw it out on your piece of paper where you wrote diamond. All right. The next shape is a rhombus. The rhombus looks similar to a diamond, but is flipped a different way. And so after your drawing of a diamond, you can write rhombus, which is R H 
O M B U S. So, as you can see, that is, it also has four sides. And as I said before, it looks like a diamond or a kite. And I'll show you how it looks like one. See, if I flip it, it kind of looks like looks like a diamond a different way. So, if you want, you can pause the video and trace it with your finger. So hopefully that will help you to be able to draw it on your piece of paper. So go ahead and pause it and draw your rhombus. Next, we're almost done with our shapes. So next we have a pentagon, which you know, pentagon is a big word here. So we have a pentagon has five sides and and it kind of, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a house. And so after your rhombus shape that you drew before, right under it, a pentagon, which is P-E-N-T-A-G-O-N. Whoops. And as I said before, it has five sides. So to draw it, you can pause the video to be able to draw it with, and trace it with your finger to help you be able to draw it. Last shape that we have is a hexagon. You can see that it has six sides and it kind of looks like a stepping stone. like. Um, you might see this in a garden or in a yard, like a little stepping stone to a doorway or another pathway. It, so after your pentagon picture, you can write hexagon, which is spelled H-E-X-A-G-O-N. And you draw the six sides so go ahead and pause the video so you can trace the shape with your finger to help you be able to draw the hexagon on your piece of paper so now that you have um, practiced drawing you can now go to the rest of your activity